It's a less common kind of diabetes where the pancreas doesn't make enough insulin. Around 2 million Americans are affected by type 1 diabetes. And while it was once thought of as a thin person disease, that doesn't appear to be the case anymore. Their obesity uh, rate also may be increasing just as like as other like a general population. Because of that, Johns Hopkins researcher Dr. Jung M. Shin says an increasing number of adult and pediatric patients with type 1 diabetes are going on some GLP-1 medications, which right now are only FDA approved for type 2 diabetes and those who have obesity. That kind of medication can be as effective as uh, for type 1 diabetes population, but we don't have data. Shin says the concern is that those with type 1 diabetes who depend on daily insulin and use GLP-1 medications at the same time will be at an increased risk of hypoglycemia, dangerously low blood sugar levels, and ketoacidosis, where acidic substances build up in the blood. We don't know whether this is effective or uh, safe uh, in this population. Shin and her team's latest research says there could be some health benefits for these drugs in the type 1 diabetes population, but they're calling for clinical trials to further study this and develop clear guidelines for these patients. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither.